Good morning. It is Monday, June 15th. Call to prayer today. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. The request for presence. <clears throat> o Lord, we come this morning, knee bowed and body bent, before thy throne of grace. O Lord, this morning, bow our hearts beneath our knees and our knees in the lonesome valley. We come this morning like empty pitchers to a full fountain with no merits of our own. O Lord, open up a new window of heaven and lean out far over the battlements of glory and listen this morning. The greeting. <clears throat> the Lord lives. Blessed is my rock. Exalted is the God of my salvation. The refrain for this morning's lessons. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. This morning's reading. Jesus taught us, saying, This is what the kingdom of God is like. A man scatters seed on the land. Night and day while he sleeps, when he is awake, the seed is sprouting and growing. He does not know. How? Of its own accord, the land produces first the shoot, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the crop is ready, at once he starts to reap, because the harvest has come. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. The morning psalm. Wait upon the Lord and keep his way. He will raise you up to possess the land. And when the wicked are cut off, you will see it. I have seen the wicked in their arrogance, flourishing like a tree in full leaf. I went by and behold, they were not there. I searched for them, but they could not be found. Mark those who are honest. Observe the upright, for there is a future for the peaceable. Transgressors shall be destroyed one and all. The future of the wicked is cut off. But the deliverance of the righteous comes from the Lord. He is their stronghold in time of trouble. The Lord will help them and rescue them. He will rescue them from the wicked and deliver them because they seek refuge in him. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. The cry of the church, O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The prayer appointed for this week. Keep, O Lord, your household, the church, in your steadfast faith and love, that through your grace each of us may proclaim your truth with boldness and minister your justice with compassion for the sake of our Savior Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The concluding prayer of the church. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power that I may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, my Lord. Amen. God bless you today and always.